thing called like let's plays that happen. Um, this is where like really good players or really entertaining players will just play through a game and they'll talk about their experience. Um, and some of you guys have you know a million plus viewers as well. Um, and on live, which was a console that uh, um, did this sort of streaming video thing before, also had these features, but. Uh, because it had such a low user base, probably no one will know about it. I don't think that PlayStation 4 created it. So I wanted to mention it here that something that uh, <clears throat> this technology allows for and is coming and it's pretty cool. <laughs> um, the other thing is the console space is really becoming uh, um, open, right? So like, all the, the big three consoles are using like ATI graphics chips. So what's NVIDIA doing? Well, they're powering all these Android-based consoles that are under $100, right? So uh, the Ouya, which just started shipping out in March, was a $99 Android device, made $9.5 million on Kickstarter, which is a, a site where you say, I want to build something cool. Will you give me money to build it? And then I'll build it and send it to you. And a lot of people jumped in. You know, they gave them $9.5 million at $100 a pop to get these devices in their hands. They're going to be at uh, Best Buy and other stores soon. 10,000 developers said, oh, we really need to uh, build this kind of stuff. They also have that touch screen on the controller, so if you have an Android game, you can almost have it working on the Ouya without much effort. Kind of add a little SDK that says if somebody touches this button, it does this activity. Um, other players in that space is GameStick. It's like a $79 version of that. Uh, the whole console is that little USB key looking, um, like, I, I don't know, USB key dongle, dongle yeah. And, uh, um, but it's an HDMI one. So you just stick it in the back of your TV, and then you have that controller, and you can play all the games that are on it. Um, and the device fits easily inside the controller, so it's easy to transport. And the Android device. There's also Project Shield, which is straight from NVIDIA. Again, an Android-based device. It's uh, a portable one. It has a small screen that kind of shuts down like a little clamshell over the keyboard. Pop it open. Um, I actually played a version of Arma on that, which is uh, um, like the BBS2 for the consumer game. Uh, it's very powerful already. And the people at NVIDIA were saying that they expect uh, <coughs> They expect that they'll be